Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Can you see me? <laughs> I'm in the garage in my, my Uplander van because I'm getting ready to do uh, a shop. I'm foraging for food today. Um, it's still pretty early. I'm wanting to get this done, get my errands run, because it's supposed to be in the 90s today, and you know I'm a delicate flower, and I might melt. So, you know, I gotta be careful. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I have my list, or it's just a list of things that uh, I might need or potentially need. Um, some things I'm out of completely, but some things I'm just low on, but we'll see. So, uh, the first thing I have to do is I'm going to zip by the credit union and zip through the drive through get some, some cash. Um, as some of you may know, I, when I get paid once a month, I pull out $200 cash and that's what I use for food, dry goods, household items, pet stuff is two and gas from a car so that's two hundred dollars a month um it's getting increasingly um difficult and i have debated whether or not to try to pull out a little more cash than that but for now i'm not going to i'm just going to leave it as is so anyway i'm going to go do that um then my plan is to go to aldi uh, and today is Wednesday, by the way, to go to Aldi and then go to Dollar Tree, which is adjacent to there. So um, just to pick up a couple of things. I don't plan on spending the full 20 because remember, it's $20 for food and $5 for the pantry restock. So I don't plan on spending the whole 20 I'm just going to pick up a few essential items that I'm going to, I feel like I need. <clears throat> However, tomorrow is my usual monthly chiropractor appointment, which takes me to the other end of town. And at the other end of town is the Jewel Osco uh, store and Fairway. So uh, I kind of got a little bit of a plan for Fairway. Um, they have an offer, and I thought, uh, I don't know. I'm going to check it out. Okay. Okay. Um, and Jewel does have some digital coupons for some produce. So if I go to those places, I will do that tomorrow. Now, Friday, I'm going to come back on on Friday. And we'll have a little chat because I want to update you uh, on my progress on the 20 for uh, food and the 5 for the restocking of the pantry in the basement. So, um, we'll do that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I have left from last week's shop and what is left over from any of the previous weeks. Because remember, we did five weeks of $20 a week. So, uh, last week was the last time for that. So, uh, which I bought all meat. So, you can imagine my produce has dwindled way down. <laughs> but okay um let's go and when i get back i'll show you what i got in the meantime take a look at what i have left are you ready <laughs> here she goes on the road again all right i'll see you when i get back in the meantime watch that for me would you please thanks Okie doke, let me show you what I have left from last week's $20 grocery shop and the weeks prior to that. <laughs> now, some of you may remember, if you've seen my uh, recent shop video, I purchased nothing but meat at Fairway. I did not buy any produce. So, the produce that you see is what's left from previous shops so 
of the meat that I purchased last week, I've got the steaks left. I have not used those. I've got the Iowa chops left. I haven't gotten into those. And this is what I have left of the chicken. I cooked three chicken legs uh, for myself and for my little dog. And that's what's left of the meat. That's it. Um, I just wanted to show you this. This is what's left of the loaf of bread I made on Sunday. The problem with homemade bread is that I tend to eat more bread when I make it myself than I do when I purchase it. So <clears throat> I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, this is what I have left of my extra sharp cheddar cheese. Some I shredded uh, the other day for uh, a meal I made. This is what's left of the lemons. Now this lemon is uh, less than great, so I'm going to juice this today and I'm gonna pop the juice in the freezer and then I'm gonna make sure that I use this within the next couple days or so. This is all I have left of my butter. Two sticks is what I have left. These are the apples remaining and one Roma tomato. And this is what's left of the Vidalia onion that I purchased. This is what's left of the carrots. So that's all I have left from my previous shops. Now remember, this next shop is going to be $20 for food and um, $5 for a pantry uh, restock or stock up. So uh, I'll show you how I do. <laughs> Interesting, huh? I forgot one very important thing. I have seven eggs left. Sorry. Okie doke, I just came out of Aldi. And now I'm going to zip down to Dollar Tree. Wasn't really that busy today, which is awesome. So, okay. Um, Dollar Tree it is. <laughs> Okie dokie. I have returned from the hunt. <laughs> Think how it would be if we really had to go hunt for all of our food. Think about that. So, going to the grocery store isn't terrible, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to break this down into three uh, parts, three sections, I mean, so I can show you individually what I bought. Um, this is the Aldi haul. It's kind of like a mini haul. <laughs> um, I got the ground turkey, which was uh, $2.75. The butter um, had a red red price switch which was a reduction for $3.59 um, they had the jumbo franks which are normally more expensive but those are also red sticker marked down to 99 cents so I grabbed those instead of the other ones and um, I bought this package of yeast for 59 cents or excuse me 89 cents uh, I was going to get some bread but I thought oh, I'll just make I'll just make some bread again uh, and they had these uh, kettle kettle chips I got the sea salt and vinegar those were marked down to a dollar and 35 cents or excuse me oh look at that she must have overcharged me dang okay they were a dollar uh, forty nine marked down, and she charged me a dollar ninety five. So, huh? That's interesting. I'm gonna save my receipt, which I always do, and I'll probably just go back in and get my fifty cents back, or thereabouts. I guess it isn't completely fifty cents. Okay. So, um, at Aldi, it was eleven dollars and 82 cents which leaves me 568 out of my 20 dollars now then let me show you what i got for the pantry sorry i forgot to mention the bologna which was a dollar and 
65 cents. Okay, I double checked the Aldi ad and it was my mistake because I did not read it uh, well enough. It is the kettle chips for $1.49 original or jalapeno flavor. So that would not include these delicious scrumptiousumptious sea salt and vinegar. So that was my my mistake. You ever heard that expression? One time I thought I was wrong, but I was mistaken. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd show you that. Now this is what I got to help towards the restock of my pantry. Um, these were these are the mixed vegetables. They were 95 cents a can. So I got five cans, which totaled four dollars and seventy-five cents, which gives me twenty-five cents left of my pantry budget. I ha actually had her ring these up separately because I wanted to track this. Since I'll probably be doing the five dollar stock up restock um, for many many months because I want to see how far we can get. Um, I'll take the twenty-five cents that's left and I will bring that into next week's five dollars so next week will be five dollars and twenty-five cents so let's see what we can do with that as well and you can see four dollars and seventy-five cents okay this is my entire haul today and I have five dollars and sixty-eight cents left to spend so it doesn't look like a lot, but honestly, I'm not unhappy with it. I'm fine with this. Um, were there other things I would have liked to have purchased? Well, of course, there always is. But um, it's perfectly fine. Uh, with what I already have from my previous shops, I'm in pretty good shape. So tomorrow, when I have my chiropractor appointment, uh, I'll be at the other end of town. I may zip into Jewel and pick up, uh, take advantage of a couple of those digital coupon bargains for produce. Uh, we'll see. I'm just about out of apples, which would leave me no fruit. And I do like to have a little fresh fruit in the house. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and I think I'm going to zip into Fairway and take advantage of this deal which I'll explain to you on Friday because I'll come back on Friday and we'll have a talk about what I <clears throat> how it's going with the 20 um, how to proceed with the the five dollar restock because I'm just doing that once a month so we'll see how it goes and uh, do a little catch up and also be thinking about how you are making your uh, food budget work because I really want to know in today's comments and also this coming Friday we could talk about that too and you can let me know in the comments okay all right as always you know that little is much when God is in it okay I do believe it yes indeed I do all right I love you please like subscribe and share because it might help somebody else okay Love ya. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.